Hi, this is Carrie Shell from On Point Quilter. In part one, I showed you how to create a continuous quilting line design using electric quilt. Now let's see how to transfer this design to EQ Stitch and create a design that you can stitch out on one of your embroidery machines. Now, if I want to stitch this out on my embroidery machine, I need to bring it into the stitch uh, section of the program and add stitches. So from the applique tab here, I can select the design and I'll use the pick tool and just select it. And I will do a copy and that could be a control C or use the copy button. Go to work on stitching and I can select paste or do a control V. And I'm just going to move that so that that intersection point aligns with the center of my stitch drawing. Now, I do need to make sure that my design worksheet workspace matches the hoop for my embroidery machine. So to do that, I go to stitching, drawing board and hoop setup. Um, I have a brother machine, so I will pick the Baby Lock Brother PES from the machines format, and I'm going to pick the standard hoop size of 100 by 100, and that's basically just a little bit under a 4 by 4 inch workspace. And I'm going to select OK. Now I am going to go to the Stitch tab and uh, EQ Stitch is adding um, like a zigzag stitch and doing a fill stitch. That is not what I want, so I need to make some changes. So I'm going to start by first of all setting the edge stitch. And when I do that, uh, right now it's set to the steel stitch. I'm going to change it to a run stitch and I'm going to click on the, the outside edge and notice that it replaces it now with a running stitch. And so now I'm going to go to the set fill stitch and I'm going to select the no fill and I am going to click on my drawing board object as well. And so now I've got my continuous line. I'm also going to set the thread and I'm going to pick a thread and again click on my shape and it will now add the thread color to the shape. And I will also simulate sewing and by clicking on that simulate sewing button and I am going to now click on the uh, play sewing. And since this is stitching out the way I uh, like it, I am going to go ahead and add that to my sketchbook. Now, in order to stitch it out on my brother machine, I need to actually save it in the format of that machine. So I can select stitching, I can export the stitching file, and I like to save them under my EQ7 in that embroidery format. I'm going to call this one Infinite Circles, and since I have another one there, I'm just going to replace it. I'm going to make sure that I've got my um, Baby Lock Brother size, and I'm going to click on Save. And it says my file has been written successfully. So now I can transfer that to a thumb drive and um, use that on my embroidery machine. Now I can also addition this same um, design on my quilt. So I'm going to go back to work on quilt and I'm going to go to layer 3 and I am going to select the um, set embellishment and I'm going to take my design and I'm going to drag it on the workspace. And it will come in at the size that I designed it. I'm going to use the adjust tool, find that design and move it in place. And I can also go ahead and copy and paste 
and fill the other spaces as well on my quilt. And if I wanted, I could use that same design to fill in uh, the spaces in these corner blocks here if I didn't want to use the text. Or I could use that design in the medallion. Now if I did it in the metal or the medallion, I would need to resize it. I wouldn't need to for purposes of additioning, but for purposes of actually uh, printing it out, I would need to adjust. So let's assume I wanted to do that. And I want to go back now then to work on stitching. I can take my design here, select it. I can right click on it. I could do a resize and I'm just going to do 75% select OK. Now I need to go to the stitch tab again because I've adjusted and I will um, go ahead and uh, add that to the sketchbook and I want to go to work on quilt I want to go to layer 3, set embellishment, and that brought in basically a smaller um, infinite circle, and I can fill my metals with that as well. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a better feel for how easy EQ Stitch is and are thinking about some additional possibilities for this software. If you would like to subscribe to my newsletter, please go to onpointquilter.com.